They're inquisitive creatures that will soon have their curiosity curbed. The intent of these laws is to make sure that cats live longer and healthier lives whilst protecting native wildlife. From July the 1st, all of Canberra will become a cat containment zone. Containment doesn't necessarily mean having to be stuck inside a house. I mean, fresh air and sunlight and so on is all very good. But to protect native animals, allowing cats to roam freely will be illegal. Felines keen for a taste of the great outdoors will have to use a cat run or be on a lead. <coughs> Importantly, moggies born before the laws come into effect will be exempt. But the government is still urging all owners to follow the new rules. We understand that some of them may not be used to it, but they actually adapt quite well. Mandatory registration will also apply for all cats. Owners who adopt after July the 1st will have to pay a small one-off fee. It will make life a lot easier for all involved. If cats are caught breaching cat containment, if they're registered, it'll be much easier to return them to their owners. Possibly along with a $1,600 fine, the maximum penalty for breaching the laws. Rather than a push to adopt before the deadline, some rescuers fear the laws may turn Canberrans off, adding to their brood. I think for some um, people it might be hard to contain a cat and um, in some cases quite expensive if they're looking at cat containment options. But Amanda's biggest concern is for the future of her organisation, which traps and rehomes hundreds of animals every year. In the rare case a cat can't be rehomed, it's neutered and returned to the streets. What we know is that the plan is alluding to either a trap, neuter, adopt program or trap and kill. And we certainly trap, neuter, adopt all the time, but we don't support the trap and kill part for the adults that aren't homeable. If that's their only option, Amanda's team will stop rescuing, which will mean more cats on Canberra's streets, exactly what these laws are trying to avoid. Rosie King, ABC News, Canberra.